Hello, welcome to Mirror Sphere. This is Dow, your host and your fair, friendly neighborhood beard vet. Coming to you again. Today I want to talk about a serious matter, actually. is uh, cancel culture and what it's been doing. I don't know, I hate Twitter. I think it's a cesspool. The only reason I decided to get on it is so that I can contact other YouTubers so we can uh, plan live streams, so we can um, contact each other, so I can spread the word of this channel so we can grow. And then I can contact artists, uh, book cover designers, and stuff like that to help me with my novel. That's all I want for Twitter. I don't, I just, I try to ignore everything else as much as possible. This thing is a cesspool of fucking nut jobs. And, re and recently there's been so many people being attacked, try to be canceled for stupid fucking reasons. And late, one of the latest ones I saw was Angry Joe. If you don't know who Angry Joe is, he is one of the best game reviewers I have ever seen. And one of the only ones I actually trust. Actually trust. You know, we might not agree politically, we might not agree on everything, but I don't care. I know that if I want an honest opinion on a video game, and he does funny skits, he does a really good job, so if you don't know who he is, please go sub to his channel. Uh, recently, uh, an accusation came out against him. I don't want to get too far. I know he's had his lawyers getting into it because he's taking it seriously and he's going to make a public statement soon. Uh, I, though I did see the, the what was you know the initial thing, and I I'll tell him. And I might not be anybody. I have 33 subs. He has millions. And so you know he is a channel far greater than mine. I'm probably I'll ever be, which is fine. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say we're, you know, we're not rivals. I'm not a game reviewer as much as he is. You know, I talk more about pop culture. He's all video game. But the man actually is a trustworthy, and he has a great team of people. He makes fantastic videos. And I know he's not in the pocket of the corporations because he doesn't have the access some of these others do. I hate access media. I think they sell their soul so they get their copies and they get their free stuff and you know so and then they make false reviews he does not do this that is why a lot of companies have pretty much blacklisted him and it's sad because he is actually pretty on he's an honorable man and I may not know him personally but I have followed Angry Joe for oh I don't even remember five, six, seven years now. I've been watching his reviews for video games since he was just by himself and not as big of a channel. So, a shout out to you, Angry Joe, that, you know, I may not be much, but I have your back. You know, you may not be a part of the Phantom Menace, you may not be a part of Comics Gate, I don't, it's not that part. I may be a new YouTuber, and but I stand with him. I stand against the false accusations. I I am not a Me Too person ever ever. I believe in facts and I believe in evidence, period. I don't believe in accusations. Well evidence is shit. Um I I do not stand with cancel culture, period. Ever. You know, if you want if you don't want to support someone because you don't like the way they do stuff that's your choice but to demand that they lose their job they lose all all ways to make money you know to shame them publicly until they want to kill themselves because I've seen some of these cancel culture pieces of shit they literally want these people to kill themselves that's their goal is to shame them humiliate them make them lose their jobs make them lose their families make them lose their all hope and it's right because they think they're somehow morally better than these people it's fucking sick it's disturbing and it's wrong on every level I don't give a shit if a guy wears a fucking KKK shit yeah that's dumb and it's fucking wrong and it's evil but he should not you know be fucking shunned into the ground until he kills himself maybe educated maybe help to you know realize where he's wrong and if you don't support him then don't support him 
But don't go after him like you're trying to, like, I'm a mob. The mob of mentality right now is fucking insane. It is insane. Though it's funny that Hollywood started all this shit. And right now, they're the ones who are mostly canceling each other. Which is hilarious. It's kind of funny watching the guys who once canceled others getting canceled themselves. Because guess what? We're all human. Unfortunately. <laughs> And we all make mistakes. I'm not perfect, you know, but they're literally going after people for flirting with women. I think an angry Joe, what I saw in the text, pretty much is that, is he is a, a YouTuber, he's got a following, and a girl hit on him, and she hit on him again, and he said, yeah, sure, I don't know if anything happened, I don't, that's not my business. All I know is, you know, and then she came out against him saying he used his position to try to get sex or some shit. That's the accusation. Uh, pretty much, no, that's not how this works. Just because you're a person with a big following and somebody hits on you does not make you the sexual predator. That's bullshit. And I, I'm glad he's taking it seriously. I'm glad he's getting his lawyers involved. I'm not going to, you know... I can, I want to, I'm definitely looking forward to his um, actual public statement, and I know, you know, we we may not see, you know, everything eye to eye. He may hate Trump, and I may not like Trump all the way, but I may agree with him and disagree with him. I'm a middle, as I said, I've hated politics my entire life. I hate politicians. You know, most military people hate politicians because they believe they're all talk and no action, and they really are. And. I think they're mostly dirty, like 98%. There might be a couple people that are in Washington who really want to help people. The rest of them just want to get rich off taxpayer money and not do shit. Literally, just waste time sitting in the office, complaining about things, arguing with each other, yelling at each other, and getting nothing done. And it sucks, but, you know, that's government. But... Um, this is just me. I'm just putting this video out there for my support for him and my absolute hatred for can cancel culture. I despise it, period. I think uh, nobody should be canceled. I don't think, you know, just because you have, you say something that somebody else doesn't like shouldn't be um, a excuse to lynch someone. Because this is what this is. This is literally lynching. This is, hey, that guy said something. Let's get him. And then the mob comes. Where hundreds of thousands of people who are on Twitter or where the fuck they are. And they come after you. And they want to burn you at the stake. They want to destroy your life. They want to get rid of your job. They want to get rid of your, your house. They want to get rid of your, your every support possible. Because they think you're evil. No matter what you say, you could say the dumbest thing 10, 20 years ago, it doesn't matter. You said it, you're going to die. They want to destroy history. Yeah, America hasn't been the greatest country in the world, but we're one of the better because we are trying to constantly improve ourselves. You know, we ended slavery. We did this. We didn't create slavery. That. I saw that when that one politician came out and said that we created slavery. Are you kidding me? There's been slavery for like, since man has been, came out of the fucking sexual pool. Fucking idiot. Fuck. Every person, every culture, every, everybody in history has been a slave to somebody else's culture at one point in time. Period. Absolutely. White people have been slaves to Muslims. Muslims have been slaves to others. Jews have been slaves constantly. If anyone deserves, you know, represent, you know, whatever from slavery, it's the Jews because they literally have been the most abused people in all of history. <laughs> they were slaves to Egypt. They were slaves to freaking uh, everything. They were mass murdered in World War II by the Nazis. And all this excuse of, oh, you're a Nazi. You know the Nazis have been gone for hundreds of years. Almost, what, almost 200 years now since we destroyed Germany. Took out the Nazis. 
there might be some people, what, thousand people out there in the whole world who still think they wear that stupid symbol on their face or wherever and they shave their fucking head bald and they hate other people for the color of their skin, which is the most dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. I don't give a shit what color of skin you are. I don't give a shit what fucking, you know, we're all fucking human. If we can't get along that much, we're fucked. <laughs> yeah. This is, you know, I believe in aliens, but I believe this is one of the biggest reasons aliens don't want to fucking come here. They're like, dude, they going to stop killing each other for the stupidest shit. We ain't going there. <laughs> Why share technology just so that they can go out in the universe and just murder people for aliens? Can you imagine what would happen if we went into the universe? We can't stop killing each other for the color of our skin. Can you imagine literally seeing lizard people and whatever else is out there? <laughs> Uh, but anyways, I just want to make this video saying I support Joe. I believe in the facts and evidence. I hope he does take this to court. I hope he sues the shit out of these people for false accusations. I hope because that is bullshit. I personally have been accused of this shit when I was in high school. I had to go through this shit. Luckily... For my person, what happened to me, luckily, is the, uh, my person, oh, a teacher overheard the girl who claimed that I, you know, did something to her. I'm not going to get into too, too much detail, but a teacher overheard her uh, talking to a friend that, you know, she realized she was losing popularity. You know, I was a junior in high school. I was a, a loser. No one liked me. You know, I was one of those nerds that everybody picked on, you know. And she claimed that I did something to her, and I had inv I had investigators come to my house. I I had people shun me in my neighborhoods who looked at me like I was a, the creepiest criminal you could imagine. I had people who I once knew as friends turn their back on me. And then it came out one day where she was talking to a friend, and a teacher overheard her tell her friend that Nah, he never did anything to me. I just I knew he's a loser. I mean, you think that loser would ever get close to touching me? And the teacher goes, "Whoa, what?" She's like, "Well, you know," she made it up because she knew that people would pay attention to her again. That was it. She was losing popularity, and she wanted people to pay attention to her, and she tried to ruin my life. We we literally left that town. We moved. Because we were sick of the, the looks. And I had people come to me apologizing, saying, you know, they believed her and they were sorry that they didn't trust me. And I just, I told them to go fuck off. I said, I'm done with you. Because you guys turned your back on me. So, it sucks. I have been in that situation and it sucks. Luckily, the, the officers, when, they, when it came out that she lied, the officers came to me and they said, you know, they were sorry that they put me through this. And that they, you know, that they were going to deal with her. And I don't know what happened to her because we left. We fucking moved out of that town. We moved far away. We want nothing to do with that situation or those people. And it sucks. But that's what happens, you know. Shit sucks. And I stand with you, Joe. I understand false accusations. And I hope this is the start to stop this shit. The cancer culture needs to stop. We are almost out of it until this fucking shit went down. And all these riots and shit. Now cancer culture is exploding where everyone is a target. For any fucking reason. And if you don't kneel to the mob, they will destroy you. I don't fucking kneel. I'll tell you right fucking now. I will kneel. I don't apologize for shit I didn't do. I never owned a fucking slave. I ain't kneeling to some fucking people because they demand me to kneel. Fuck you. I do not support Black Lives Matter, the organization. I support people, you know, protesting for the wrongful death of that man. I support that. But if you're going to burn down fucking neighborhoods, I'm done with you. Go fuck off. I don't know. BLM, the organization, is a political movement for a certain political power who wants to demand you kneel 
they want to take over, they want to control, they want power, and they want money. I will never support them, I will not financially support them, and I will definitely not stand with them. Or Antifa, those guys are fucking terrorists. Antifa are absolute domestic terrorists. Not even domestic anymore, they're international terrorists. Because they're all over the fucking world now. They are anarchists who want to burn and destroy and they don't give a shit who property they destroy. They don't give a shit what neighborhoods they ruin. They don't give a crap that that, you know, the black neighborhoods have been burned. Every store, I watch so many videos of, you know, ladies talking about how they can't find a place to feed their kids because all the grocery stores nearby have been burned. And it's bullshit. And I'm, I, I'm sad for those people. You know, the people who lost that, you know, that one video about the guy who lost his bar. Saved up his whole life. I mean, he was a firefighter. Saved his whole own life. Retired. Opened his own bar. Was about to open and the whole COVID crap happened. And so then they vandalized his bar. Destroyed it. And he doesn't know what you know that shit sucks that guy had nothing to do with anything why attack him you know you want justice justice happened that cop who killed that man is going to jail and the other cops that were with him who let it happen are probably facing you know some jail time too dirty nobody hates a dirty cop more than a good cop absolutely we don't you don't know anything about cops cops hate dirty cops honest to god good cops there are lots of them lots of them i have family members who are cops who are you know they're they're at the wits end right now they're almost ready to just walk away and say fuck it let it burn i'm done i'm done you know risking my life for punks and it's sad because he's a good man and I hope he uh, sticks to it. I hope this shit stops. I hope we stop demonizing police and turning our backs on them for criminals. Yeah, it sucks. Some, some, you know, some incidents happen. Some dirty cops kill people. Bad situations happen. I'm not going to judge any cop until I get all the facts and evidence. Every case has different evidence. But cancel culture needs to end. We need to stand up against it as a society. We are there is a silent majority in this this country, a silent majority who are quiet, who just want to live life. I'm one of them. I just want to get by. I just want to go to my job. I want to feed my kids. I want to just you know not have to worry about bills every fucking day. <laughs> you know, I'm a middle American. You know, Missouri, I'm not Missouri born, but, you know, I live in the Midwest. I've pretty much been around the Midwest area my whole life. And I will only support, I will only follow facts and evidence. And, yeah. Does something slip through the cracks? Yes. That is why if you're actually, if something actually happens to you as a woman, if you get raped or whatever... Go to the police immediately. Don't hide it. Don't be feel shamed. You're a true victim. Go to the police so they can get evidence. They can collect the evidence. Because if you get raped and there's DNA on you, they can collect that and it will help your case. They can only do what the law allows them to do. Cops are a reactionary force. They don't start stuff. They have to they react to situations. They can't predict shit. You know, you go, you go, you know, a lot of people you know, get sick and they say, hey, I got pulled over for no fucking reason. Everybody gets pulled over for a reason. You know, sometimes it's not even you. Sometimes it's every 10 cars they pull over. Every 20 cars they pull over. You know why they do this? Because you know how many times they've done these random pullovers and they found drug traffickers? One of the most famous ones is because of it. It was a truck he pulled over. It was just a random stop. 
because they do this the wellness stops or they check and make sure you're okay you're not you know doing drugs or drunk or you know whatever I, I, I'm a fully trained police I have graduated the academy this is literally what's taught in the academy okay that there are some times where they do wellness pullovers like let's say your job you're a cop, you're patrolling, nothing, no calls are coming in, especially in smaller towns and stuff like that. We don't always have a lot of calls. So what they'll do is they'll watch high, highways or they watch this and they pull over every, you know, 15th car. If it hasn't been a while, if they haven't seen anything, they'll pull over cars. It keeps them awake, keeps them alert, and it also helps to make sure you're doing well. And most of the time, they just let you go. They're making sure you have license, you're registered, and you know, you're not driving, you know, intoxicated, you don't have you no know, insurance or something like that, because that shit does happen a lot, especially around here, where guys will be driving around in the trucks or something with no insurance, and they're like, What yeah. Can you imagine getting hit and run from those guys where you had now have to pay? Yeah, that sucks. So, you know, they do these things. Especially during the night times. Well, there was one famous one where the guy pulled over a truck, and as he was about to leave, he noticed the truck had that much difference. That's all it was. That the bed of the truck was about that high off its, you know, its thing. It should have been, you know, down to here, but it was about that far up. He goes, well, that's weird. He's like, that's unnormal. So he asked the guys to come out of the truck. Yeah, he called him for backup. They showed up. They had a mechanic remove the thing, found almost was it hundred thousand dollars worth of cocaine that lined the bed of this fucking truck now all he did was a wellness stop this is why sometimes if you get pulled over and you don't know cops aren't doing they're not after you nope you know how much paperwork they have to do <laughs> they get you they arrest you there's there's so much paperwork they have to do nobody wants to do that stuff most of the time, cops, if they had, if you're giving you a ticket, it's probably because you did something. Or they noticed if you were swerving. A lot of times what happens is the cop sees you swerve off the edge. And you go back on. And you swerve off the edge again. And come back. If you do that more than twice, they pull you over. Because that's a big sign that you're drunk. It is. It's a, you're tired or you're drunk. And they're just making sure that you're not a danger to everybody else on the road. Because if you're tired, that's as, that's as much dangerous as being drunk. Trust me, I've had times where I've been driving home in the middle of the night trying to get off when I get off work at midnight. And I'm just exhausted and trying to keep my eyes open. I literally just pull over and fucking run around my car for a couple times trying to wake myself up. Because I don't want to actually fall asleep, close my eyes for a second, roll off the road or hit someone head on. But, yeah. And this isn't about cops. This is about... My support for, you know, Angry Joe. I have been a big follower of his and a big fan. And if he ever does see this video, I, I don't I doubt he will because, you know, I'm a, I'm not a big channel. I doubt he'll even know us this, but it's fine. If you do see this, Angry Joe, you have my support. I'm sorry this happened to you. As people are coming after everyone. And you're not alone, man. They're coming after everyone for any reason. If you are famous, if you have, that they want money, it could be money. They could be like, hey, if you want me to go quiet, I can pay me off. And no, don't. Thank you for taking this seriously. Don't bow. Don't apologize. Don't kneel. Because they won't. If you, as soon as you bow to the mob, they'll never let you go. Ever. There's no satisfying a mob. And a cancel culture mob is what it is. Wants you to they want they want to feel good. They want that high. When you're kneeling before them, it gives them this the feeling of superiority. And if they destroy your whole world, they justify it because it's all this is online. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't get to see how much damage they do to these people's lives. And if you kill yourself, if people kill themselves because of this kind of shit they think it is a victory they laugh until a cop show up and they say because of your harassment a man died that needs to that needs to start happening where there needs to be laws saying that if you harass someone to the point where they lose their jobs you go after people's jobs 
or you try to dox them online, and if that person ends up dying, it is murder. It should be considered murder because that's what it is. They want you to die. They want to get rid of you. They want to snuff your life out because you're not good enough for them. And it's sad. And it truly is. These people have no moral compass whatsoever. They don't give a shit. It is some online fad that they think is fun and it's cool. It gives them power. They feel powerful when they can sick a mom on somebody. So I will stand with Joe. I will stand with any of the victims of these mobs. You know, even if people did something that they are, you know, I've seen where they were attacking like a six-year-old kid online because he said one word that they thought was considered the N-word or something. I will never say that word. I Personally, I think it's wrong. But to try to destroy a kid who, my kids say stupid shit all the time because they hear me saying it, really. <laughs> like, my kid will say a, cuss, say a cuss word. My, my wife will look at me like, really? <laughs> I'll be like, sorry. <laughs> it's a bad word, don't say it. Well, Daddy, you, I know I'm trying my best to live up to a better example to my children. But, you know, we, we're only human. And being in the military, as long as I have sometimes certain... Uh, bad habits take over. You know, a lot of us in the military, cursing is part of our language. And, yeah. <laughs> we don't even know we're doing it. We really don't. Sometimes we're cursing, and people are like, dude, 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 you're cursing too much. And I'm like, what? I'm like, dude, you said, like, F. The F word, like, 200 times in the last 10 minutes. So I'm like, whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> nah. Yeah, yeah, you did. Oops. Yeah. Or we'll say very appropriate things at the wrong time and not realize we're saying it because we just don't have a filter. Military, we don't. We, we lose. There's a there's a point in the, Marine, or the Marine Corps or wherever that you stop being able to filter yourself. Like you start rambling on. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You say stupid shit and you don't mean it. <laughs> and, you know, I, I want to bring back actual humor you know you can make fun of people for anything and you know the problem with our culture right now is everything is far too serious far too people are far too angry to take everything serious nothing can be wrong nothing can be said but yeah everything is you can't say anything funny anymore like they're going after old comedians like uh, Camel for doing a skit where he was dressed in blackface or what it's the stupidest thing I ever like actors how dare you portray a black person everybody watch uh what was that movie where the the two black dudes dressed like a white women it was really funny I can't think of the movie right now but it was a really funny movie or uh Miss Doubtfire or any <laughs> None of that stuff will ever be allowed nowadays, which is sad because those are good fucking movies. We don't give a shit that there are two black dudes dressed as ladies. Those, that shit was a funny fucking movie. And it's it's no different the other way around. It's just comedy is comedy. You might not get it. You know, I did my review over Space Force. The first couple episodes were fantastic. They just allowed themselves to be funny, and then it just stopped. It became just, I don't know, it just, it stopped being funny and it just became this whole, you know, drama where, you know, we just mock, you know, everybody's got to be an idiot. There can't be one smart person in the room. But yeah, all right. Well, that's not my kind of, there might be people who think that that show was hilarious all the way through and good on you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I really am. But trying to cancel people because they mock people. You know, if I went to, fuck, who, I don't know, just any black comedian 10 years ago, if I was live thing, I was sitting in front seat, they would make fun of me because I'm white. They would make fun of me because I look like a weirdo. I don't know kind of overweight they would make fun of me for every <laughs> every fucking reason under the book and I would just laugh because that's funny we could be funny 
<sighs> but yeah, this is just a video of my support for Angry Joe. Why is detain stain for cancel culture? This shit is getting ridiculous. They want to cancel Paw Patrol because of a cop. They want to. Who knows what's next? You know, they canceled cops. That was a good fucking. That was a good fucking show. And why? Because it just has cops doing cop stuff. And you know how many criminals are in prison probably like that show? There's probably more criminals who watch that show because it's hilarious. And watching other people get busted is probably as much as funny for them as it for us. It's ridiculous. CSI next. Mm. Criminal Minds. NCIS. All this stuff has got to go because it has cops or some kind of federal agents. This is what what does that say? This is a clown world. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta watch his video too. He just dropped a video today and I gotta watch it. So this is just me. I you know just it was a more serious video. I know. I I don't wanna make videos like this, but this has to be said and I am standing by you man. And I'm standing by anyone who's been a victim of this bullshit, false Me Too's, because that shit sucks. And we need to go back to a culture who had common sense, who believed in facts and evidence, who uh, trust, you know, you don't have to trust the government to absolutely be perfect, but at least try to have some kind of middle ground. Because right now the middle ground is almost gone. If you're middle ground, you're, you're a Nazi right now to some people. If you think common sense and don't let your emotions completely trigger you, you're evil. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it's what these people believe. And I think they're brainwashed by, their, by all kinds of stuff. And they're just stupid. And they're ignorant. And they're easy to control. And... Well, that's just what life is right now. Hopefully it'll end. I hope it will. I hope shit will fucking just got to end for, you know, more people, you know, more good people lose their lives, lose their livelihoods, go into depressions. You know, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. But I, I thank you, Angry Joe, for all what you do. Bring in such good content you are a fantastic game reviewer and I have trusted your game reviews for a very long time I literally sometimes it's the only thing I I don't buy games almost anymore unless I trust the company or I see an Angry Joe show covering it <laughs> but yeah uh, sorry about that my phone just cut off um, but anyways I hope you all stay safe Stay healthy. Be good to each other. And please, let's end this cancel culture before anybody else loses their life. Or, you know, I don't want to see that happen anymore. But thank you, for everyone, for coming and watching and supporting me. I hope if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Or follow me on Twitter or Facebook. I do have a Facebook, too. Um... And I'm on geeksandgamers.com. So uh, if you want to befriend me there, please do. And I hope you all stay, just be good to each other, all right? This is Amir Sphere, Daniel, your host. And I hope you all have a great and fabulous day.